If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. I was watching a YouTube video the other day and I was scrolling through the comments of the video and somebody asked the question. It said, I'm 87 years old, can I do the lifestyle? The YouTuber said, sure, why not? Now, this content creator lives in a van. So when we talk about the lifestyle, we're talking about living in a van. I mean, because here's, to, here's the thing, is, is the YouTuber was, is very young, uh, lives in a van. So from the perspective of the YouTuber, there's only you know, one answer they can give. A young person living in a van. To me, it's irresponsible to answer a question you know, I'm 87 years old, can I live in a van? Well, I don't know the answer. How, how can I possibly know? I'm not 87, I'm 47. Yet, it seems like a lot of YouTubers do answer the question. Sure, why not? Well, how, how do they know, you know, the, the health condition of this person? How do they know all this information? So what I try to do is provide you with information, accurate information, as best as I can, so you can make your own decision as to whether you can live in, in my case, a homemade truck camper on the back of your truck, which closely resembles van life. You know, there's all this information that you have to weed through to determine if you can do it. So here's what I'm gonna do today. We are at the campground. There's the truck right there. And what we're gonna do is walk to the bathroom while I talk to you about the ability to, to do this lifestyle. So I'm gonna start my clock right here and when we finish, I'm gonna show you the time on it. You know, this is just kind of an example of what the lifestyle is like. Now, I recognize that, you know, some people are gonna say, oh, that's why you need a travel trailer. That is true, you might wanna have a travel trailer. In that case, you wouldn't even be able to stay in this campground because the, the campsites are not big enough. Uh, right here is a, a puddle you gotta cross over. Now, I'm taking the shorter route, I could have went up this direction on the road but it's it's actually longer so now i'm walking through the puddle so your shoes are going to get wet uh just part of the lifestyle my shoes i bet i walk around with wet shoes 80 percent of the time my shoes are always wet and you're trying to dry them out you're always changing the socks now the thing that you want to watch out for especially when you're down here uh in the southern states is snakes i mean they just sneak up on you all the time uh, now at nighttime, if you're out here with a flashlight, just not sure you really want to do that. You know, your options are, of course, using a bucket uh, if you're living in a van. Now, on this trip, I'm going to take you to the uh, water spigot also. So that means you're going to have to go and get your water from this spigot. You're going to carry the water. Let me check the time, see how long we've been walking. So we've been at it a minute and 55 seconds. By the time it gets to two minutes, I would say that we're gonna be at the water. Yep, 201, and right there is the water. So, I don't even know if you can still see the truck. I'll point the camera. Well, it's kind of tucked in behind a tree. There it is, right to that side of the tree. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it or not. So we got to the water. Well, we're gonna continue on to the bathroom. Now, see, the, the thing is, is there is a lot of physical activity to this lifestyle. Here's way I, tried to talk about the lifestyle. I traded in my job of you know working full time for an employer for this lifestyle. But this lifestyle is now my job. I still, you know, I don't have social security, you know, I'm, I'm 47, so I still have to work. I put in a, a good amount of time with all this activity. Uh, setting up the showers, going and getting water, going to the bathroom. My point is, is if you're 87 years old, you're probably retired, obviously. So that means you no longer work. But when you come out here, you're going to start working again. You work to live. The house that you live in has conveniences. It's convenient to walk to the bathroom. It's convenient to get a glass of water. It's convenient to cook on your stove. If you have an oven, I don't have an oven. Now, if you got enough solar panels, I guess you can get microwave dinners and that kind of thing, uh, or a generator. We don't have an oven, we don't have a microwave. Uh, for example, here's a good point, popcorn. Popcorn nowadays is very simple. You stick the bag of popcorn in the microwave and you cook popcorn. 
it's kind of a healthier snack. And that's the one Carolyn and I always have. But we don't have a microwave. So every night Carolyn has to, you know, do the, the pan the old fashioned way, you know, shaking up the pan on top of the stove. It's not a complaint. It just shows you the level of activity there is to this lifestyle. You're always working at everything you do, even going to the bathroom. I and mean, we're still walking. We're getting closer to the bathroom. There it is right there. Now, when I set up a shower, and most nomads have to do this too, they have to set up their shower because you're taking one little space of your, of your camper and turning it into a different space. You know, our, the way my camper is set up, what is normally the kitchen becomes the shower area. We hang a tarp and, and different things. Now, during the nice warm weather like this, we can actually put a tarp around the back of our tailgate and we can stand on the tailgate and take a shower on our tailgate. But either way, you're still setting up uh, an area to take a shower. Okay, so I've made it to the men's room and here we are. We're, I don't know if you can see it, five minutes and 49 seconds. So almost six minutes it took for me to walk to the bathroom. And of course now you got another six minute walk back. The other thing you have to do out here, it's critically important, is you gotta filter water, it's drinking water. Now I know that all these places have drinking water that we stop by that says it's drinking water, but it's so terrible tasting. It's horrible tasting to drink some of this water. Some of it is so filled with rust, it's just yellow. I mean, uh, you, you put a, some of this water in a bucket over 24 hours and it stains the bucket. So I'm carrying water, what was it, two minutes? So I gotta carry about two to three buckets worth of water, get it all pre-filtered with my pre-filter system, and then I put it in the Berkey. So I'm carrying all this weight and lifting the generator. The generator's 53 pounds. And so you're always lugging that thing around. Uh, I actually watched a YouTube video of a lady and she said she just couldn't lift it. Thanks for watching. Click like if you like video and happy travels.